It's 8,580 pounds, but the Cougar 34 TSB here at Halet RV is also straight beast mode. This big triple side bunkhouse, which is probably what TSB stands for, not that it necessarily matters, but there you go, triple side bunkhouse. Um, it gives you something a lot of bunkhouses don't. And that's an awesome living room that, you know, mom and dad can actually enjoy on a rainy day. The kids have their own, like, master suite in the back, basically. We got an outside kitchen for uh, all sorts of fun entertainment. Dual awnings to give you maximum patio space here instead of wasting uh, awning space over the side out. King bed, enclosed heated belly, auto leveling. What more do you want? One of the only downfalls to these door side super slides, I mean, they're awesome because they give you all the windows at your destination. They pretty much block you from getting at anything when the slide's closed. So you, you do need to have the slide open to get it packed or for traveling. This is very much a destination use trailer. But, it's not exactly hard to get to the button to open the slide considering it's right there. Or you could sync this to your phone. We'll come back to that later. And of course we do still have very easy access to the bathroom and the bedroom right here. So if you do need to make those little quick travel potty stops if you will, this one will get you done. So you walk in, you look to the left, and bang, you got this big, open, very fifth wheel-like living room area here. Cougar also builds a very similar uh, bunkhouse in their fifth wheel series, uh, a 369 BHS. It's just kind of a juiced up version of this thing. This is a little more purpose built for the travel trailer market. But one of the first things you see when you walk in, because it's staring you right in the face, is the new in command series this was not here last year basically you can sync this to your smartphone and anything that you can do on this little control pad you can also do off your phone that means you can do heating and cooling off of this thing you can operate your slides and awnings your your, your lighting you can monitor your water pump your water heater you can control your interior lighting remotely from your phone and that is pretty dang cool ladies and gentlemen um, there's also more to in-command we'll talk about outside. I am a big fan of in-command. Anytime I've seen something with in-command, the service records on those things are just off the charts. We just don't see them back for any sort of uh, electric-based issues. Um, so we've got a big open feeling vaulted ceiling here, and it's really heavily accented by those dark color batten strips right there. All Cougar travel trailers are going to have a standard 15,000 BTU air conditioner um, and you'll have a standard 30,000 BTU furnace. And it's kind of cool because they use the biggest, like the, they use the size of air conditioner and furnace they need for a big camper like this. Then they standardize that through the rest of their family so the smaller models kind of get the benefit of the stuff from the bigger model here. Um, so again, one of the coolest parts of the 34 TSB, there's tons of bunkhouses out there, but this one gives you a private bunk room outside kitchen without losing a good entertainment center. That's what this one really does better than the other ones. They all have a different purpose. They're all best in different ways. People ask me all the time, well, which one's the best? They're all built with different purposes and intentions. So you've got this giant swing out 4K HD TV, mind you. So if you do choose to add like a, a Blu-ray player or a satellite or something like that, this is all sorts of ready just to blow your brains out when you're looking for entertainment time on a rainy day. And you know that feeling like when you almost have to sneeze but it doesn't quite happen? I've been like messing with my nose for like the past five minutes and like it just, it won't happen. So if all of a sudden I just break into this insane fit of sneezing, I'm okay, I've just been working on it for a while. Down here, electric space heating fireplace, also remote controlled. So uh, what's nice about this is it's heat without the propane use and you can kick it on for just the LED visual elements. Um, over here, this is something that when they went to the in-command system, Cougar implemented and it is so deviously intelligent. Because if you're sitting on the sofa watching TV and you want to turn the lights off, you don't want to necessarily have to get up, walk over there. Not that it's far, but it's just one more little thing. You're looking for the recreation and the relaxation in recreational vehicles. You don't want to walk over there. You don't want to touch the pad, wait for the screen to kick on, enter the code, hit the light button. You don't want to do that. And maybe your phone's not in your pocket. Well, you don't have to because they still included this handy little rocker switch over here for your main cabin lights. So you don't have to get up and trek through the living room. It's all right here. It's simple and it's easy because these guys are geniuses. Now, right next to the bunkhouse, and really this could be, it's really just bonus storage because uh, when we look at the kitchen, you're going to see all the pantry space it has, but really... This is just kind of like an extra dry goods storage area right here. You've got this big 
pantry, closet, whatever you want to call it, next to your sofa seating over here. Now, keep in mind, there are different sofa arrangements. Oh, by the way, did you notice that there is storage below the dinette as well? What's kind of cool, something else Cougar did, instead of having a cushion and then a wood base below that cushion, they actually integrated them. The, the, the hardwood base is actually inside of the cushion sleeve itself to make getting in and out of that much, much easier. Again, it's the tiny touches that make the big difference. That didn't cost any more money. It was just a quick shift in production, and bang, there you go. I love the little stuff they do here. So what I was getting at before I got distracted is there are different seating arrangements in here. But we have found literally uh, nine times out of ten, <laughs> we've tracked the numbers, people prefer the theater seat upgrade here over the standard trifold hide bed And I think the reason is, again, what does the 34 TSB Cougar do? It gives you a nice private bunkhouse with tons of sleeping already in the bunkhouse. So the point of this floor plan is to also give you a nicer living room entertainment experience, and that's what this accomplishes. Not every, I mean, and, and see, the thing is, did you notice, uh, let's take a look at this, by the way. These are wall-hugging theater recliners. You can sleep on those things. Now, obviously, we've got the dinette over there that we can sleep on, but if uh, you do have kids, guess whatever, those pushback uh, theater-style recliners, you could easily have a two-person sleeping zone right there. So you don't really gain any sleeping bonus with the trifold sleeper sofa. What you gain here is a more comfortable seating arrangement during the day. And I love the fact that we've got a place to put our bottled water and barley pop in the armrest right here. A little uh, hideaway remote control nook right here, by the way, as well for your TV, your fireplace, etc. Um... One of the other things this does very well, unfortunately the light's making it so I can't have all the shades open right now, but it gives you all these big super slide windows, and they went with max size windows on this puppy dog, which is ironic because it's a cat, a cougar. Anyway, maximum size windows, and they all open for airflow to give you tons of light, but obviously we can just draw the shades when it's time for privacy. Another little thing they've done here is they've upgraded the lighting in the slide out. It's a little touch sensitive light switch and it flips all the lights re real quick here but if it's movie time you touch and hold and the lights dim right on down and they will actually remember the last known position on off so that uh well i guess off on <laughs> so you know if you do just ha happen to bump it you don't have to reset the dimmer switch to that sweet spot that you just had it at now one of the calling cards the staple points of any bunkhouse floor plan is <laughs> the bunkhouse and what's great about this one is that on a rainy day, mom and dad, you're going to enjoy the cabin. People ask me this all the time. Why do the kids in the bunkhouse get the slide out instead of mom and dad in the bedroom? And there are some campers that do that. But I want you to think about how you live at home. On a rainy day or something like that, if you're stuck inside, mom and dad, do you just sit in your bedroom and read a book? No, you own the house. You are going to use the house. The kids might have their own private little room, and that's why the bunk room gets the slide out, because this is mom and dad's sanity space. This is where the kids can go freaking nuts, man. Meanwhile, you're chilling out in that theater seat, watching whatever thing you want off Netflix, if you're streaming stuff, maybe, and there you go. Now, this has one of my other favorite features, and that's the move, bunk. Get out the way. Cougar does this quite often. I'm seeing other brands start to do it. Instead of that bunk that folds up at a 45 degree angle for a little bit of a head bonker, you don't have any of that problem here. And obviously, the other cool thing about this one, this has four individual bunks in the bunk house. You don't have, uh, like because it has the outside kitchen, you don't lose a bunk doing that. Now, if you do choose to upgrade the entertainment center, you want to add a TV back here for the kids, you can. I love that they have their own vent back here. And uh, just like uh, the, the main living area, your main bunk cabin has just a quick on-off light switch. Very handy for mom and dad to shut the lights off on the kiddos. Now, although, the kids do maintain their own individual uh, beds. Now, these aren't double beds. They're not singles either. They're what I call a, a, a big kid bunk. They're about 50% wider. So a taller kid can kind of sleep crosswise on them because bunks are usually only made about 74 inches long. These are no exception. Having two of them, though, see, instead of the full-size outside kitchen, this gives you that extra sleeping space or just general cargo storage space you're going to want. Now, speaking of storage, let's start down here. You can see that you've got this entire lower 
halo of storage in here and it ends with this uh full hanging closet here in the bunkhouse so the kids have their own hanging storage and the kids stuff stays in the kids room and it doesn't trickle into the living area um the uh oh upper bunks by the way are 300 pound rated so those are the heavier rated bunks uh moving forward here let me make sure i didn't miss anything let me just kind of pan around the living room see if anything strikes my fancy real fast i don't believe i've missed anything let's take a look at the kitchen shall we i think one of the mistakes people are going to make with this kitchen is they're just going to look at this chunk right here and say well that's all the kitchen and first of all there's a lot more to it than you realize because when you start opening everything up you realize very quickly how much cabinet and countertop space that you have right here. And you've got drawers galores down to the floors with this thing. They didn't waste an ounce of space. That's nerdism number 37 if you pay attention. Um, including a nice drawer below the stove. And while all oh, this is nice, like that's great drawer space and everything, that's really not the end of it. Because what you have over here is the RV Nerd Pantrytainment Center where the TV kind of functions in a way like a pantry door because you have all the extra shelf space behind it. Now this can serve multiple purposes. What is nice is if you do decide to expand your entertainment or you want a place to put like DVDs or whatever, you have room to do that. You also have easy access to the plugs behind the TV with this double jointed articulated swing out TV right here. And then of course you have the extra storage cabinetry above. But wait, there's more. And I'm not talking about the shoes uh, under. When is the shoes under going to be the thing that you buy, not the thing that you get? You know, just pay shipping and processing. No thank you, shoes under. Anyway, um, the whole peninsula here is just pure storage, and I like that they kind of got away from an island. Islands always kind of feel like they're in the way, but a peninsula sort of, it's like it's a defined kitchen zone, and if the campsite cook is working, everybody else get out. Get out. Just get out. By the way, oh, I forgot to talk about this. This is an eight cubic foot fridge freezer. They went a little bit bigger here. Um, so we've got more drawers. So we've got nine drawers just in the kitchen area here. Uh, this is a sealed edge thermal foil kitchen countertop, and you can see that uh, recessed stainless sink. There are double sink covers. I just simply left one off so you could take a peek there. High rise faucet with sprayer. And I've had a lot of folks ask me and say, Where's the cabinets, Jack? Why aren't there any right there? Remember guys, there's a slide out right here. You can't have cabinets on that wall. That's why they went so nuts with all of this stuff that we just looked at in the pantry tainment center. And that's why they left all of this down here because peninsula countertops actually allow for more storage than uh, just a general island. And I love the area there for that big wastebasket. Blows me away how many RVs still miss that feature. So we saw that right when you walk in the door, the bathroom is easy to access in transit, but we didn't really get a good look at the bathroom. And I am glad that just kicked on. This is motion sensitive lighting by the door. And you'll see some of this in the pass-through storage as well. What I really like about that is you can just leave it on. That's fine. You can leave it off or on motion mode right here. What it'll do when you walk in the door, it'll kick on, you know, motion, blah, blah, blah. But it's not on all the time when you're gone. So the window doesn't glow. It doesn't attract a bunch of bugs. And you're not going to let all those nasty gnats into your camper. Smarter. Uh, the interior structure of pretty much any keystone, is I think one of the areas that helps uh, their their structural records and why we have such good service records with pretty much anything keystone at this stage. They are really on the ball right now. They have these thicker interior walls and they are fully framed out. All the door jams are always fully framed in these to give you better rigidity and uh, reliability. So the doors always open and close like they're supposed to. And when you're in transit, the door jam, door jam doesn't like wiggle and pop a door open and then bang around and damage stuff. Nobody likes that. So over here, more of that thermal foil counter stuff with a very large sink here. And you've got plenty of room down here. I mean, they give you maximum possible space for things like toilet paper and toiletries, etc. Now, between the vaulted ceiling and the position of that skylight, this big radius shower with the split open easy entry doors is fantastic for taller folks like myself. Now, the shower head's located against that wall, so you're standing toward the middle of the trailer at its tallest point, plus a skylight. Genius design, flawless execution right there. So we've got this linen uh, cabinet right here in the bathroom, floor-to-ceiling linen cabinet, at least six and a half foot tall, obviously sweeps up a little bit. 
but it gives you all that space to have, you know, towels and extra, uh, anything, anything in here that you need so you don't have to do the naked uh, streak <laughs> through the camper, you know. And plenty of leg room here in front of this porcelain stool. To, when you get out of the shower, you can actually get dressed. You don't have to go in the living room and, you know, scar your kids and send them to therapy. Very private front bedroom up here, and it starts with the Cougar King bed. Now, this kind of confuses a lot of folks, and, I, and I've... I guess maybe I haven't explained this enough. So it, it's an ex, it's a wider bed, wider than a standard uh, RV bed, but it is not a full king length. It's what's called, I would call it a camp king. I don't know that there's an official name for it, but that's a name that makes sense. And taller people like me sometimes go, Ugh, I wish it was a little bit longer. And I understand that. Most people though, I think if you really think about how you sleep, very few people sleep on their back in a straight pike position, a straight north-south toothpick position. Most people sleep on their side in the fetal position. You sleep curled up a little bit. And especially with the greater width on this bed, kind of like the big kid bunk, you can sort of turn yourself sideways. I, at 6'3", have no issues sleeping on a bed like this. I don't have any concerns, problems with it. I'm perfectly fine with it. Um, everyone's preferences are a little different. If you did want to go to a longer bed, you could. You are going to sacrifice some walk-around space, but I really don't think you need it. I think you should try it first. I, you know what? Buying a camper, guys, it's a lot like trying on a pair of pants. It's just a very expensive pair of pants. You need to come to our dealership, a.k.a. the dressing room. You need to try it on under the lights, <laughs> and you need to see how it fits you. And if this is a deal breaker for you, we have other campers, but I really don't think it will be if you actually try it on. And the sales record of this camper is kind of testament to that. A lot of folks who came in with the concerns on that still went home with it and went, yeah, it's really just not a big deal. Um, the bed does easy lift for storage. And uh, what I do like is it's separated storage inside versus outside. So you don't have stuff kind of shifting, creeping around. You've got those uh, side stands nice and open on each side of the bed there. And inside the nose cap, they actually recess that headboard to give you like maximum just general space that makes the bedroom feel bigger and you can see how they buried a light up in there these are all standard 50 amp service all cougar anything that says cougar standard trailer fifth wheel doesn't matter 50 amp service you can add a second air conditioner if you are so inclined and of course we can uh, add a tv against the wall across from the bed but this is something that you can control your bedroom lights from your phone if you don't want to get up but you don't have to because, once again, they did include one of those handy light switches just like they have in the bedroom. And a lot of people ask me, what is that? Remember that in command is the thing that actually controls your heating and cooling system. These are just thermostat like sensor probes, and you'll actually see one uh, by the bunkhouse wall there in the living room. Now, if either of those probes triggers so that uh, basically if the living room or the bedroom or whatever falls above or below the point that you're trying to heat or cool your RV. If either one falls into like the oh not, not acceptable zone, it'll kick the air or heat on as required. So it's a whole house comfort system. And that is just another one of those benefits of in command that is just very easy to miss and overlook. And it's why I love to put these videos together here, guys. I wish you guys could be here to experience this right now. The weather currently is just absolutely beautiful. 71, partly cloudy, nice cool and breeze coming through, ultimate camping weather. Um, so we talked about how it's got the, the double awning here. That's something that this model has always done right. I've seen some of the kind of clones have a, a big like 20 foot awning, and but then you look at it, and 18 foot of it's eaten up with the slide out. You don't have that here. You have max patio space. And these are dual easy tilt power awnings. Two fingers is all it takes to crank that awning onto an angle for like rain runoff. What's kind of nice is it's self-correcting. So if you leave it out, you wake up at night and you hear the awning banging around in the wind and you use that handy in-command thing off your phone, uh, you can roll the awnings up from your bed without putting on pants. Um, <laughs> And no worries, you can't damage it basically. And full length LED lighting below the both of them. Uh, the entry door is friction hinged, so on a little bit of a gusty day, or if you got a you know kid with a bad mood or something who flips the door open, it ain't gonna smash against the side of the trailer. Uh, nicer aluminum plank steps here. Uh, basically, they are not slippery when wet, which is something the uh, Bon Jovi enthusiast probably will not appreciate. But 
uh, they're also easier to see at night, which is just kind of a handy thing. Now your big pass-through storage here, you do have uh, magnet uh, latches, magnet catches rather, on any of your uh, outside doors on these Cougars. And you've got a very large storage compartment. You do have motion sense lighting. Where's that? Over here. We've got motion sense lighting in this pass-through area right here. If we look over on the far side, you can see the automatic leveling control. You also have a simple battery disconnect over there to make sure that when she's in storage, you don't have phantom load draining your batteries, which can happen quickly. Now this is in command. This is the heart and brain of this camper right here. First thing you can see is that all of the uh, wiring in this is color coded. Keystone was the first manufacturer to do that in the towable RV industry. A couple motorized guys did it, but no one had done it in towables before. Um, the other thing is it replaces that common um, like fuse box with the blade fuses that you'd have in a lot of campers. And it is just a far more reliable system. It's far easier to work on, though we really haven't had to. And the other thing is you still got a little manual selector with an override switch right here in case for some reason that panel inside or your phone quit syncing to it or whatever, you still have a button you can push to operate each slide out or awning or leveling or whatever. And they all of course have their own manual override system. So uh, that the nose cap looks awesome. The way that they did the decals with that little fade, it just really frames it up and sets the tone. What do I love about it? is that massive like spray-on truck bed liner style huge stone guard. That's like twice the size of a common travel trailer stone guard for, hey, wouldn't you know it, twice the protection makes sense, right? Power awnings, of course, power tongue jack, of course, power leveling, everything on this is push button simple. So braking and setting camp just couldn't be much easier than this. Um, Little simple water docking station over here next to the simple solar prep plug for those little portable suitcase style panels. So what you're gonna see is the outside kitchen has the exact same hookup as this right here. And there are different attachments you can use on this. It's like a quick release air hose style fitting so that if you wanna use like a residential garden hose sprayer head on here, you can. So you can have your cable, your water and stuff. This is where your, uh, your, uh, your tank fill is going to be located. And then you can simply flip the latch, you can lock the door and you can keep people from messing with your stuff. Now these all have an enclosed underbelly with that 30,000 BTU furnace that I mentioned, which is something that is fantastic for that extended use camping. So if it is going to drop below freezing overnight, you'll be okay. If it's going to hard, hard freeze, guys, get her winterized. That's just intelligent uh, RV use in general right there. If you're looking for that, it, well, you know, another thing this does have going in its favor, and I forget to talk about this on Cougars, because I, I, I don't necessarily call a Cougar an ultralight. But it's not necessarily one of those big flat deck fifth wheel trailers. It's kind of in between. But what kind of separates it, it's lighter. I call it a lighter camper, not a true ultralight. And one of the differences there is it still has a full two inch sidewall. And I think that is also part of the thing that helps contribute to the structural reliability of these coolers. They seem to have a little bit more meat on the bones. You've also got that double vaulted roof, which means you don't have an insulation gap along the sidewall here. You have even insulation across the entirety of the roof. And as a person who's walked on a bunch of RV roofs, it actually, it, it stuck out to me. Like, it wasn't just a normal walk on roof. It was crazy solid. And that's one of those things that really jumps out at me on Cougars. They also use more sealant on their roof fixtures uh, for, you know, greater longevity and, and reduced maintenance, basically. Now, over time, any RV is going to need a little bit of roof upkeep, but this isn't something that you're going to have to be really worried about in year number one of ownership. That uh, cargo rack on the back folds down. It can flip into a bike rack. So this allows you to bring along bicycles without needing to jack with your frame and void your three-year structural warranty. Isn't that smarter? So not only does Keystone have the most comprehensive three-year structural warranty in the entirety of the RV industry, but they also make sure you don't void it by trying to just go camping in the normal way any normal person goes camping. Backup camera ready, ideal for backup or observation models. The difference is observation ones work in motion. A little more expensive. You get what you pay for. That's 225 pound rated, by the way. Now, little detail stuff. The fact that we have all LED, not just tail lights, but marker lights as well. They are brighter, safer, 
last longer. They're safer because, especially the taillights, they flash faster. And at 60 miles an hour, five milliseconds faster on the ignition of that taillight is enough to uh, give somebody uh, five feet of additional stopping time behind you. We have all jammed the brakes and come that close to the guy in front of us at the stoplight. Five feet makes a difference. So the low profile outside kitchenette here is something that uh, Keystone has just really mastered. They've done this very well because it adds that extra bunk space inside. This gives you the extra bunk in the bunk room uh, w with no loss of sleeping space, basically. We still have Dad's medicine cabinet out, out here. Uh, PD on the front means pretty darn awesome. Now they've upgraded their outside kitchens uh, at the time of this uh, filming compared to previous generation as well. And they've gone to this galvanized rolled steel countertop, and I love the fact that they actually have a matching little uh, sink area right here. And you can see that this is that, res that uh, air hose style quick release thing I was telling you about. So if you want to put a little residential fitting here, you don't just need to use this for the outside shower on the other side of the camper. You can use it over here for campsite cleanup too. My kid loves the bubble machine. God bless it, that thing makes a mess. I would love to have something like this when I go camping, but I don't. Capital Grill over here. Cougar's actually the one that got these guys in the business. You find them on things like our Jayco Eagles here, but usually your nicer brands have something like this. And if you're not going to cook on it, it's just a nice stainless steel prep space. But it's an actual grill, not a two-burner cooktop, so you can do some real grilling. Outside TV hookups kind of finish off the, uh, um, I don't know, tailgate station on this one, if you will. It's a beautiful day. There's not much to see. Let's look at the, uh, the roof. And when I say there's not much to see up here, I don't mean that in a derogatory fashion. I mean it because they have such clean execution. Now, again, you can't really appreciate what I'm experiencing right now, but the walkability of this roof is absolutely fantastic. They are so solid, so, so sturdy and stable up here. It feels so good. You don't have any of that moonwalk feel below you. And again, they're very heavy-handed on all their sealants uh, so that you do get that extra lifespan before any sort of reasonable routine maintenance comes into play. And where I really notice the difference, like look at what they do on their front termination strip up here. They really go to town on that thing so that even from just general towing stress down the road, you don't run into issues. And I've been on a lot of different roofs. I've seen a lot of different things and I've definitely seen some manufacturers um, in the, I don't know, dollar cheaper category who don't expect you to look on the roof and they don't spend a single cent more there than they have to. That's not Cougar, that's not this brand. They are definitely built for uh, longer ownership, upkeep. I mean, like the big fifth wheels right here. This has so much in common with the big Cougar fifth wheels, not even funny. Um, I think you get the idea. We do hitching pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, RV delivery, and everything between here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. But we don't do hidden dealer fees. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy camping, everyone.